Gono is a company started about six years ago, and we were focused on small handheld mobile devices. Because? Because we knew that the uh, laptop model would never scale. Uh, it, it just was not sustainable for schools. And so we were looking for some way to get technology into the hands of as many children as possible. Mm -hmm. And that was, at that point, was the Palm Pilot. And as we've seen over the last few years, it's changed, and now it's the cell phone. And what this conference is all about is trying to understand what's going to happen over the next three to five years as literally every kid, not only in the United States, but in the world, is having a cell phone. And it's a cell phone computer, not a cell phone, it's a cell phone computer. It's a computer first that has, happens to have a radio that you can use for communication. Yesterday, the spokesperson for the American Federation of Teachers, a very important group, I mean, Ameri AFT, said it's laughable that uh, there be a, a report that's, that cites the study, uh, a report that says that cell phones would be, make a difference in education. To say that it's laughable is dismissing something that is, is, is unbelievable. How could they say such a thing? Why is it laughable? It is something that's going to change uh, education. And if AFT truly believes what that lady did say, then AFT is standing in the way of education of kids in America. And this is spoken from a yellow dog Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> I am a union person, right? Thank you very much. I'm a union I, man. I just yep. want to clarify. That's, I'm a union person. But they were, it's so wrong-headed. And there's this, uh, another gentleman said, I'd like to see uh, uh, if cell phones can help kids uh, learn to write better. Well, the kids aren't writing now. I mean, for God's sakes, they're going to write with the cell phone. They're going to write better with the cell phone than they do on paper, paper and pencil. You know, there's statistics that say, well, there's wireless in every school. What that means is there's a la one teacher who has a laptop, and her laptop works wirelessly. And there's one of those in each classroom. That's fine. But when you start giving wireless devices to 35 students in this classroom and the one next to it and the one next to it and the three above it, it is a completely different issue. Trying to put in and maintain a wireless network like that is almost impossible for most schools. And so the simple solution is to go with the cellular computers because then you are saving your money for something else. Maybe it's devices, maybe it is cellular computers, maybe it's data plans, who knows. But what you're doing is allowing the companies whose business it is to maintain that telecommunications infrastructure to, you're piggybacking on them. Use their infrastructure, save your money for something else that benefits your students and use theirs. And by doing so, what you're doing is really leveling the playing field. For the first time, we have the opportunity to close that digital divide. Because when those children go home at night, whether they go home to the homeless shelter or whether they go home to suburbia, each one of them is going home with a device that will allow them to access the same internet 24-7.